Peplink has released firmware 8.5 for its cellular connected routers with some Starlink optimizations and a few other interesting improvements. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Chris from the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a quick update on Peplink routers. They have a new firmware release, um, the version 8.5, building on top of the version 8.4 that came out last year. So this is a, not an actual huge um, software update, but it does have a few interesting improvements that we are kind of pleased to share. The most interesting things that Peplink is billing it as a uh, supercharged Starlink integration, and we kind of made fun of that last year because their Starlink integration, they use the same tagline, was really just a little, kind of a few little tweaks, and well, there's still just a few little tweaks, but they're improved now. So the Starlink integration, the Peplink routers, when they're paired with a Starlink um, receiver, now are obstruction aware, and you could turn on a setting for obstruction awareness so that when Starlink has a brief quick drop because the satellite has passed behind a tree branch or something like that. Um, rather than having the router go through, mark the connection is down, and then maybe take 15, 20, 30 seconds before it realizes the connection is back up and stable again, when obstruction awareness is on, it says, oh no, this is probably just a two or three second obstruction. It knows that the Starlink router is reporting the obstruction and now to complete outage, and it will recover much quicker. So better, more reliable Starlink connections when obstruction awareness is on and you've got some potential obstructions from trees. So that is a nice improvement. And then the other nice new Starlink uh, Peplink integration feature is a Starlink GPS awareness. So a Peplink router that is paired with a Starlink will be able to get a GPS signal from the Starlink. And if the Peplink router does not have its own GPS antenna hooked up or is um, up something like the B1 5G that does not have built-in GPS, now suddenly you're able to take advantage of Peplink's GPS features like you know, we use it on um, the via their in control web interface to track where our boat is and make maps of where we've traveled to. So now you can have that data from Starlink feed through to Peplink all automatically when they are paired together. So that is a, a nice improvement. So, you know, again, if you're trying to use Starlink and Peplink together, upgrading to firmware 8.5 is a good thing. The other you know, new end user fret cool feature that we have been playing with is what's called adaptive forward error correction. So uh, Peplink routers have long had this feature called forward error correction that um, when you're using a speed fusion bonding connection, you can mark uh, tell the router to use forward error correction where it'll basically use extra overhead of data between 13% or 26% extra data to kind of give some more redundancy to let the connection handle little connection drops you know, without being more seamless than that. But that overhead is still there even if you have a really solid connection. So if you've got forward error correction turned on up to max, you're using 26% extra data and that's you know that extra overhead is slowing you down. Now they've got a new adaptive forward error correction setting that you could turn on and it will adjust dynamically between 6% overhead and 20% overhead as needed on the connection. So again, simple little things worthwhile turning on and it'll just make your connection more efficient and more resilient to drops. And so particularly for cellular or actually Starlink connections that trees going overhead. Um, this is also a better way to deal with quick little drops and packet loss. So a nice little feature there that you can dive into the menus and turn on. Now there are a bunch of other features. Most of the features every new Peplink firmware release comes out. Uh, most of the features are targeting their enterprise customers with uh, advanced deployment situations and or security concerns and stuff like that. So there's a huge list of features in the release notes. Most of them are not going to apply to typical end users, but there's also a lot of little bug fixes and everything else. And we've been testing firmware 8.5 and it seems pretty solid all around. So definitely worth upgrading if you've got a Peplink router. And if you want to go a little bit deeper into all the features that are there, we do have a new story to go along with this video that talks a bit more about what was in the firmware release and um, covers how some of those things are end user friendly and some of the other stuff that is a little bit more deeper behind the scenes. So check out the new story. Uh, let us know in comments if you have been playing with firmware 8.5 and 
maybe what you're looking forward to in the next major release from Peplink, you know, Firmware 9 is still in the pipeline. No update on when that is coming out and exactly all the other new big things that might come in that release. So that's the latest from the Mobile Internet Research Center on Peplink routers and their firmware. Stay tuned. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.